Looking at the abundance of food on our iftar tables, it never ceases to appall me how much time, energy, expense and effort is spent in preparing, consuming, serving and clearing up elaborate meals in the name of maintaining Ramadan traditions. It should make us all wonder, who taught us this tradition of having such big fancy meals every time it's iftar and indulging in all the foods that our hearts desire? It was certainly not our prophet, peace be upon him. His way and tradition is nothing like the modern iftar parties we see today. We all strive to follow the way of our beloved prophet peace and blessings be upon him in other areas of our lives, but we tend to completely overlook this crucial aspect of the prophet's life. Have our desires become stronger than our faith? The consumption of excessive food is one of humanity's greatest weaknesses and it becomes apparent when you see all the protruding stomachs in our community. Our prophet peace be upon him said, the offspring of Adam fills no vessel worse than his stomach. Sufficient for the children of Adam are a few morsels to keep his back straight. If he must eat more, then a third should be for his food, a third for his drink, and a third left for air. Going by the statistics, which state that cases of acute indigestion and a host of other digestive disorders increase by almost 48% all over the world at the beginning of Ramadan. Let's take a look at some of the things the Prophet peace be upon him is reported to have broken his fast with. It is narrated that the Prophet peace be upon him used to break his fast with fresh dates before he prayed. If he did not find fresh dates, then he would use dried dates. If he did not find that also, he drank a few sips of water. Another narration states that we were in the company of the Prophet peace be upon him on a journey and he was fasting and when the sun set he addressed somebody to mix water with ground wheat and barley. The Prophet peace be upon him preferred to break his fast with food that was easily available and did not disdain to break his fast with a few sips of water if there was no food. It was his custom to follow a simple macrobiotic diet and he did not order special dishes to be made to break the fast with. Even though there were some dishes which were considered delicacies in those days, like tharad meat mixed with bread, soups, vegetables, roasted meat and dishes prepared with cheese and refined butter which he enjoyed occasionally. There is absolutely nothing wrong with enjoying good, healthy and tasty food as long as you don't overindulge making food the priority of this blessed month. Unfortunately, many people overeat during iftar and then become lazy in their prayers or even miss their prayers altogether due to feeling so full from eating too much. We hope that you enjoyed this video and benefited from it. If you would like to see more from us, please remember to like the video so YouTube can recommend it to others.